Hello and welcome to my podcast Full on Self Motivation a passionate motivational podcast for you This is your journey from aspiration to inspiration Hey there thanks for showing interest in my book The Five Secrets to Sustainable Self Motivation Now get ready to listen to chapter 1 of my book Thank you Chapter 1 Introduction Home the spot of earth supremely blessed a dearer sweeter spot than all the rest by robert montgomery a bright and beautiful sunday morning began with fresh air making its way into vibha's bedroom a beam of sun rays lightened up the room and brought in some warmth she woke up and checked the clock it was only 6 am pampering herself she thought today is sunday no alarm day i don't want to get up before 8 Getting up early on a holiday and realizing that she had some more time to sleep was bliss to her. She continued to sleep until the clock ticked 8. Vibha, true to her name, was a bright, fresh-faced, middle-aged woman. Still in her pink night dress, she rose from the bed to see the mirror, highlighting her almond-shaped friendly eyes, sharp nose and dimpled chubby cheeks. Yawning deeply, she tied her loose long hair tight and rubbed her expressive black eyes with her palms, trying to make herself active at the moment. She brushed her teeth and entered the kitchen to brew coffee. Ah, if someone could make coffee for me and serve it first thing in the morning, she wished. This would be the dream of almost every woman, especially on a Sunday morning, after having spent the whole week running around. Vibha sipped the coffee while she admired the beauty of the natural scenery around her. Bengaluru had many greeneries and Vibha's was a 2 BHK apartment in a beautiful location. Opposite her apartment there was an attractive lush green park with tall trees, birds and stone benches. She liked to watch the laughter club as she felt it promised boundless energy for her. Laughing silently with the club She emptied the coffee cup and rushed to the kitchen sink to give it a wash. Newspaper is one of her morning coffee mates. Too excited to read the news, she opened the newspaper. Women entrepreneurs was the topic and she found many pictures stuck on the page and wanted hers to be one of them. This article triggered some thoughts in her. Currently, She is a proud homemaker finding ways to grow her talents continuously and taking care of her family. Vibha had been successful in her career and knew this break would also pass by. She used this break not only to update her knowledge and hone her skills but also to teach school subjects to her helper's daughter. She felt deliriously happy whenever she helped others. Dear Can I get a coffee? whispered her husband, Varun. As a busy businessman, he was mostly engrossed in his work all days of the week, except Sundays. He was cooperative and supportive, but sometimes he threw a wobbly and Vibha had to manage that. He was pretty hasty in decisions, hence Vibha had to make sure that any decision taken was a collaborative effort in her family. Vibha served Varun the first morning coffee and transferred the newspaper from her lap to his. He started gazing at it and quickly turned the page to the business column. By that time, Vibha's in-laws woke up and she got their morning coffee served at the table. Vibha was planning for brunch and heard, "Mom, milk please," from her dear daughter Vinaya. Her son Vikram got up and completed his morning routine with Vibha's help. Post brunch the family got busy with their chores. In the evening the family loved to go to the park where Vibha had a weekly meeting with her friends just like her family members did. Vibha was an extrovert with her friends and family but preferred to be an introvert in a new environment. The family had early dinner and hit the bed around 9 pm 
I am so exhausted today, Varun. Feeling weak, Vibha murmured. You are just a homemaker. You can't be tired, reacted Varun. Vibha was not hurt. She pitied his ignorance because this was not the first time she heard this. Her friends too had discussed with her the same plight with their husbands. What's that? Just a homemaker? She asked herself. This got her thinking and she started reminiscing about her past without even realizing that she was tired. Between us, Sunday is the most wonderful day for me as it is strictly a day without any alarms or reminders. But hearing just a homemaker is the most disturbing thing that can happen on any day. How to handle that? Let's travel further and understand.